Hey guys, and welcome to the One Mom's Battle YouTube channel. Make sure you are subscribed so that you get notified every time I do a live video. I am Tina Swithin, author of Divorcing a Narcissist and founder of One Mom's Battle and a fellow quarantine member. So through this really trying time in our world, I'm trying to find ways for us to stay even more connected. Um, every Saturday morning, I will be here live on YouTube from 8 a.m. Pacific time until 8.30 a.m. for 30 minutes doing um, something that I call Coffee with Tina. So I will have my coffee cup. I will probably be in my pajamas because really not a lot of reason to get out of pajamas right now. Um, but I hope you will join me. And if you want to send questions in for me to answer live, I'm ha you, you're welcome to do that. You can send them to coffeedatewithtina at gmail.com. Go ahead and send those to me. You'll get an auto response. I promise you that I do get those. Um, these are questions just for me to answer on YouTube. And uh, other ways you can get involved. Every Monday at 12 p.m. Pacific time, I'm going to do a Zoom call. Um, and my goal is to have a group, you know, between 10 and 20 people maximum. I'm going to have a cutoff um, talking about a different topic each week. This coming Monday, which is, let me look at the date. It will be, I think it's the 30th, March 30th. Um, we're going to talk about the most important topic in your child custody battle, and that is strategic communication. Um, so much to the communication component. If you are under the microscope of the family court system, it's an area you have to be so incredibly strategic. This is no time for emotions. Um, so if you want, if you're interested in joining me on that Zoom call every Monday at 12, um, it is $25. Um, I know a lot of people cannot afford to do one-on-one um, -on -one coaching calls with me. So I try to offer as many things as I can that are complimentary or very low cost. Um, you can email uh, Zoom, Z-O-O-M, Zoom Mondays with Tina at gmail.com. Um, if you are interested in signing up for that, like I said, every Monday at 12 p.m. noon. Um, I also have a friend who's a therapist, Tanya, in Los Angeles, and she's conducting a Zoom every, I think it's every Thursday at 12, and that is free. Um, I try to jump on that call as much as I can. Other mental health professionals also jump on the calls, and it's just a great way to connect, ask questions. It's a safe environment, and um, we have fun and joke around. So if you're interested in that, you can send me an email uh, and uh, or comment here. It would probably be the best, and I will answer and, and let you know how to get signed up for that. Um, my e-newsletter, uh, you can go to my Instagram channel and click on the link in my profile, which will give you a bunch of options. Sign up for Lemonade Wisdom is my email newsletter. Um, I am going to try to send it out every week. I have not been good about this in the past. I get at least once a month out, but I know that people need to be connected and feel supported right now. And so I'm, I'm happy to do that and add you to that. Um, and I share a little bit more about my story than I would openly in forums like this. Um, I am revising my second, no, my first book, uh, One Mom's Battle, Divorcing a Narcissist, One Mom's Battle. I, my story is over now. For those of you who don't know, I've spent 10 years in the family court system while acting as my own attorney. And um, my battle started in August of 2009. 
and in August of this year, or last year, 2019, we successfully terminated my ex-husband's parental rights, which I was told would never happen in California. And uh, proof, don't ever listen to naysayers, stay positive. And, you know, my goal has been from day one in the best interest of my kids. And one foot in front of the other, a lot of um, rocky roads and really difficult times and really dark times, but I refused to listen to people who told me that 50-50, um, that I was in a 50-50 state and that that was just the way things are. Um, I don't believe that. I, I think even if you start at 50-50, my mentality is that's the point where you start chipping away at it. Um, because if you are here tuning in, um, my guess is that you are you had a relationship with a narcissist and now a child. And I truly do not feel that a cluster B person or a narcissist or a sociopath um, has any business being in the life of a child. Um, and until the court system catches up to reality and uh, science and, and understanding at a deeper level how much harm that these individuals can inflict. Um, I'm just going to keep talking about it and keep raising awareness. Um, we offer a program at One Mom's Battle called Educate Your Judge. You can go to our website at onemomsbattle.com and click Educate Your Judge uh, to learn more about it. It's a program where we anonymously send information to your judge to help educate them on the impact that a narcissist or a cluster B person has on a child or a co-parenting relationship because that's you know the lack of education on this topic is mind-blowing to me um it, you know it's so we're doing our part we've been doing this for years uh, both informally and formally but if you would love to send a packet to your judge there's no tie to your case. Um, you feel free to go to our website and look into that program. You can see exactly what we send to them as well. And uh, I'm trying to think, what else? Stay connected. One Mom's Battle Facebook page has over 50,000 people on it now. Our Instagram page is picking up traction and, and growing every day. Um, but a sense of community while we're all going through this together is of the utmost importance. So support each other. Oh, one mom's battle. Uh, I am starting chapters. Let me see if I have the map. Um, I have a map. So, oh, here's my map. Every week I am adding new states. These are all the states, the highlighted ones that I've opened so far. Um, these are private Facebook groups for each state because um, while we do have the, the big one mom's battle page, each state has its own laws, its own requirements, its own specifics, its own terminology and language. And I think it's so important for people from each state to come together um, in a private setting and share your stories and talk about who the players are, who the judges are, who the attorneys are, who to stay away from, who to, you know, gravitate towards. Um, if I haven't got your state yet, I am working on it. I am one person. It takes, it's a considerable um, amount of time to do this. So please be patient with me. Um, and I do require a lot from people who want to join because I want to ensure the safety of the group members and I want to make sure that everybody in the group um, has been screened as much as I have the capacity to do. So for that reason, um, I ask each person who wants to join their state chapter to email OMB, one mom's battle, OMB state chapters at gmail.com and you're going to want to include a copy of your driver's license. Um, your family court case number and the nutshell version of your case along with why you want to be a part of the group. And once I have all of that information and once you've um, clicked to join the actual group on Facebook, I will go ahead and let you in. Um, 
you know, my, my goal is to keep trolls out of this group. And I am the only one who will see your driver's license information. And I promise my, I have, you know, very high safety, you know, settings on my computer and everything else. So, um, that is a requirement. And, uh, but one of the things that I like to remind everybody, people put way too much weight into secret and private groups. The reality is if your Facebook is ever subpoenaed, you, everything you've deleted, everything you've written, even in private messages, being entire threads deleted, if Facebook is subpoenaed, every single thing you've ever written will show up on that subpoena um, from Facebook. I've seen 1300 pages show up when a Facebook account was subpoenaed in one case. And uh, don't put anything writing anywhere on the internet unless you would feel comfortable reciting it out loud in court because that is the reality that could happen. And I'm not saying that to scare you. I'm saying that because I didn't know this at the beginning of my battle. And if someone were to subpoena my Facebook, you know, no, I wouldn't want to read half of the things <laughs> to, to my family court judge. Um, thankfully, I feel comfortable saying that now because my case is over. But be careful. That's my message to you. Um, use it as a place of support, but don't put anything in writing that could, you know, share your ex's identity, um, jeopardize the safety of your children, or, um, you know, you don't want to use it as a place to bash. What I see it as is a place to come together, collaboratively share and educate each other on the reality of the state that we live in. So I'll go ahead and stop now. I'm actually going to open a few more chapters today. Um, my goal is to open up Louisiana, Missouri, and Iowa today. So um, yeah, stay tuned. And uh, thank you so much. Everyone stay safe out there with all of this crazy coronavirus stuff going on. Um, right now, I know four people, personally know four people who likely have it, but they can't get tested. And uh, it's just a mess. And I know for those of you who have shared parenting situations and, you know, we, we have shelter in place orders, but those aren't covered by court orders, we're still forced to send our kids back and forth. And, um, it's a difficult situation right now. So stay positive, stay connected, and uh, look, lean into your gratitude, lean into your faith. You know, that is the time for all of that right now. Um, one last thing, Thursday mornings at 7.30 a.m. Pacific time, I have a friend, Carmen Rose, who is doing an online meditation. She requires a $6 donation. Um, she's a wonderful person, a wonderful small business, and I'm trying to support her. Um, I'm signed up for them every Thursday. I'm paying my $6 because um, I did it last week and it was so helpful and so healing. So I hope you will join me um, in that every Thursday morning. Take care. Bye, everyone.